welcome to another crochet cakes tutorial in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this flower stitch it's a gorgeous stitch kind of like a little square motif and it is so so versatile so to begin grab your yarn and your hook and we're going to begin by doing a slip knot however you do yours and then we are going to chain in multiples of 15 plus 8 so for this sample that I'm going to be showing you here I'm literally going to be doing 15 chains plus 8 chains. Once you have completed your chain, you will mark your 8th chain and into this 8th chain you will be making a double crochet. Now chain 2 skip two chains and make a double crochet and we are going to continue repeating this pattern all along our row so chain two skip two chains and make a double crochet and then we'll meet you back here when it is time to start our row one properly because this is our base row okay so now we've completed our base row and we are going to chain five and this will count as a first double crochet and chain two. So we will be skipping our double crochet chain two and we're going to be working into our first double crochet. And then we are going to be working 12 more double crochets for a total of 13 double crochets. Now I'll be working these, or I should say we will be working these in one double crochet in the double crochet and two double crochets in the chain two spaces. And I will meet you back here when I've made my last double crochet. So right now I have a total of 12 double crochets. I'm going to be making my last double crochet into the next double crochet. And then we will chain two, skip two chains and make our last double crochet into the third chain from the beginning chain eight that we had. Okay, so that's what our row one looks like. Now for row two, we will once again chain five and turn. We will skip the chain two space and we will work four double crochets. So one double crochet into the next four stitches. Now we will chain two, skip two stitches, and work a treble stitch into our neck. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Then we're going to chain two, and we're going to skip two stitches, and we're going to work four double crochets. So one double crochet in each of the four remaining double crochets. And we will end this row by once again chaining two and working a double crochet into the third chain. So remember the chain five counts as one double crochet and the chain two. Okay, so there's the last double crochet and we are going to once again chain five and turn. Now for row three, we are going to be working two double crochets. So one double crochet in the next two double crochets. Then we will chain five. We will skip everything until we reach that treble and into the treble, we will make a single crochet. 
Now we'll repeat that on the other side, so we'll chain 5. And we will skip everything but the last two double crochets. Once we've completed these two double crochets, we're going to chain 2. And we're going to work our last double crochet in the third chain from the beginning chain 5. So this is what our flower stitch is looking like now. Now for next row, we're going to chain 5. Okay. And we are going to be working 4 double crochets. So that is 1 double crochet on top of the next 2 double crochets, and then 2 double crochets into the chain space. Then we are going to chain 2 and we are going to work a double crochet on top of that single crochet. Okay, we're going to repeat the same on the other side. So we are going to chain two and work four double crochets, two into the chain space, and then one on top of each double crochet. chain 2, and work a double crochet into the chain 3. Okay, and this concludes this row 4. Now for row 5, we are basically going to repeat row 1, right? So we're going to chain 5 and turn, and we're going to skip our chain space as we've been doing, and then we are going to work 13 double crochets across, okay? So we're going to work a double crochet on top of the double crochet and then two double crochets in the chain two spaces. And I will meet you back here when I'm done. Okay, so I've worked my last double crochet and I have 13 double crochets. Now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to skip two chains and work a double crochet into that third chain. This will conclude our row Five, which is essentially a repeat of row one. Okay, it's starting to look very square-like as you can see. So for the last row, we are going to once again chain five and turn. That's very consistent in this pattern. You will always have um, double uh, chain spaces between the actual stitch part. And now we are going to work one double crochet and then chain two skip two stitches and work a double crochet. And this is going to be the pattern for row six, just double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet. And I'll meet you back here when I've made my last. And that is our stitch repeat, guys. So just remember, if you want to keep building on the stitch, you would just repeat from row one to row Six. So from 13 double crochet up to the double crochet chain to skip to. That would be your repeat. And please stay tuned to this channel to find out what you can make with this lovely stitch pattern. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and if you haven't already, like, subscribe and join the Crochet Cakes tribe.